numbers in string columns. Let me tell you why that's a bad idea. Converting a bar chart to primary key to a numeric one, doing it online. As I said, we covered this kind of concept in the last session, so I'm just gonna fly through it because there's a couple of subtle differences to some of the stuff we saw in the last office hours session. So I thought we'd just show workarounds for some things when you get into difficulty. So here's my table called T. It's the copy of all objects, and you can see I've deliberately made the primary key column PK, just a string version of the object ID. So it's got numeric data, but it's being stored as a var chart too. There's the primary key. I'm gonna create my redefinition table to use in DBMS redefinition. I'm gonna call it T interim, but it's got the primary key column just as object ID. So it's going to be numeric. This is how I'm going to convert from one to another. There's my table called T. As you can see, it's got primary key. It's a far chart 240. And here's my table called T interim. It's the exact same structure, except the first column is a numeric. So those who were attending last month's session will know that we can use DBMS redefinition to do this. The reason I included it in this month's session as well is to show some of the subtleties that might become involved. So let's do our first cut. First cut is just, let's just try to do a redefinition and we get an error. And the first thing we find there is by default, DBMS redefinition has to have exact match for match on columns. But we saw last month we can get around that using column maps. So I've got there in line three through to line eight, I'm using a list of columns and the appropriate expression to map the varchar to, to numeric as I go that you thought would have worked, but it doesn't. You get this very strange error saying materialized view does not include all the primary key columns. If you're doing a modification of the primary key using the column mapping, then DBMS redefinition has a few dramas. If you have a DBMS redefinition fail in the middle of a redefinition, you have to abort it. So we just do the abort and that puts things back in place as if we'd never run it. And this is how we solve it. Even though we have a primary key, using line 15 there, I'm using use the row IDs to do the modification as opposed to the primary key, then it runs fine. That's why I wanted to show it in this month's session, just to show you that there are different permutations of DBMS redefinition that you might need to use for certain scenarios. And I can add the primary key back in, finish the redefinition and we're done. And there we have our new table called T. It's got a numeric primary key and we've copied all the data over with minimal outage.